So right as about I was about to do some new videos. Bungo releases a new TWAB. Uh, we're not gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna do parts of it. For right now, we're gonna do armor. If you guys don't know, if you, I don't know why you click the video if you don't know. But we're gonna do the new armor. We're gonna see what what I think about it, if it's good or not. So we're gonna start with the Dream Bane armor set, the one that you get from the moon. And honestly, I think this armor is fine. It like I think it's fine. I like it. It represents like whatever the moon and stuff is happening so for me I think it's okay I don't personally love it there are a few parts here and there that I think is really bad and some parts that aren't like maybe if I'm gonna be nitpicky I don't like the Titans helmet I don't like the hunters helmet like the, the bug eye thing looks weird the warlocks seem like they have a VR in their fucking face. Like, I don't like the backpacks that both warlock and titans get. I don't like a few things here and there, but I do like the aesthetic of it, if that makes sense. So, I think that's fine. I think it's gonna be cool to see the different color changes and whatnot. So, yeah, that's what I think about that one. The next one is. The raid armor, which is just completely disappointing. Oh my god, dude. I remember when we got the the picture of the helmet and people were like, nah, it's it's probably not gonna be a reskin, it's probably just one part of it. And it's just like, how can you really give Bungie that much faith when like they've they have a track record of disappointing us? And then I'm just, I don't know, people have a lot of faith in Bungie, I don't, I really don't. If you guys have seen any of my videos, you guys will see that it's just like maybe one or two videos of positivity and then the other ones are just kind of like, this is bad, this is horrible. Like, so, once I saw the picture, I'm like, cool, all the armor is going to be uh, reskins, it's obvious. If one of the helmet is reskinned, probably everything else is, so... I don't like the armor, I have been seeing other channels and other people saying that oh no wait like maybe this is like solstice armor where you can upgrade your armor and it'll look better and better i don't know where they're getting this out of there like i don't know where this getting like why they think this is like especially since they're like yeah why would people why would why would we have solstice armor that was for that was free it wasn't even anything that we had to pay for and then the raid armor is something that we're paying for and then it's just reskin it's like i mean like solstice armor kind of represents like from like one year becoming to another year so like that one obviously has to go out with a bang i don't understand where the comparisons are coming from like last year's solstice was from shitty dlcs to forsaken and okay dlcs so i don't understand where they where they're getting this like I, i'm pretty sure they're just grasping at straws at this point because this year's was basically okay dlcs to forsaken plus like better shit so i don't i like i said i don't understand where they're making those connections but i personally think this is the raid armor that's it i don't see us ever upgrading these, these armor sets like why would we so i think it's disappointing for me the raid armor should be the best armor in the game i don't care what anyone says i don't care how the percentage of, ra of raiders there are in destiny 2 the raid armor needs to be the best because i remember in destiny 1 when i just completed king's fall and we ended up going to the tower showing off our armor showing off our shader and people were like yo is that the shader and we're like yup and they're like yo that looks fire it's like yep 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 yeah looks shit shit's dope but like it's really it's really disappointing that our armor in destiny 2 our raid armor at least has been very lackluster i think the only one that's good and even then i'm just like i like parts of it not like everything is the crown of sorrow armor i think that one was really dope but i don't like the whole set same thing with dreaming city i think the dreaming city armor or i'm sorry not the dreaming city armor the last wish armor i think that la the last wish armor is exactly like the dreaming city armor just you know a little bit more flair so I I haven't liked an armor set in Destiny 2 
since like maybe Leviathan and even then I didn't like the cloak I didn't like a few things here and there I don't really care about the other DLCs because uh Warmind and Chris Osiris were just gross they were really gross uh Forsaken had an okay one be but again it reminded me of the Dreaming City I think the one cool one was the Forge the Forge had a really cool armor set and then like I said the the crown of sorrow armor is cool as well but just a few things here and there i don't like so it's really disappointing that we're getting a reskin and also if this is the color of the if this is the shader that we're getting it's kind of lackluster as well it's probably just like gold brown and maybe gray and i'm like ah, that's cool i get what you're trying to do but like i just miss like glow who or like all the other shit that like made sure made your shit bright like i remember what was it house of wolves when we got that purple and like really bright blue out that was dope I remember uh chatter white chatter white was dope not because it glowed but because it made you like all white that was dope as hell like i'm just disappointed that we're getting a reskin if like in my honest opinion they should have given if if they were like we need to do a reskin we can't make a new armor give us atheon's armor set the last the age of triumphs armor but like really really like change off a lot of it because it's just really disappointing and actually i'll tie into that in one of the other armor sets so that's enough for armor for the raid armor i like i said very disappointed i don't care if it, oh tony it's a little few changes here and there uh i don't care dude like if this was the armor from eververse i would have been fine with it i would have been like that's cool like i really don't mind it would I buy it? Probably not, but I don't go out of my way to buy armor from Eververse. I really don't, so yeah, disappointing, Bungo, what the fuck. If you can upgrade this, that would be dope. I would really love to be wrong about that. If I, we could upgrade this and then make it better and better and better, that would be cool. But that also doesn't tie in with the lore because the old looking Vex are the future Vex and the new looking Vex, they're the old Vex. They're the ones from the past. So if we do upgrade it, it would have been more appropriate if we looked the new, like new and then made it old, you know? So that's just a little thing. That's a little thing that bugs me if it does become upgradable, but still nonetheless, still disappointing. So the free armor that I think, I'm pretty sure that the, they get this, all this armor set from the battle pass this armor says mad I, it's disappointing it's boring it's oh my god it's so boring like i don't care i don't care who you are this is boring and you're not going to change my mind like it would have been cool if like they had gotten like something vexy but it's just kind of like hey look like we have vex colors and like they have stuff growing on them and like cool like it's not it's not cool i think it's boring i think it's just ugh, like if I was if I had to see if I was going for the season pass, I wouldn't grind it for the armor. The armor looks really just like that's that's how it looks to me in my opinion. Uh, if I did praise it, I would say like I like the grass. I, I like I get what they're doing. Like oh, we're supposed to be mimicking like Vex because they're old and they they're so old that like they have grass growing. And it's like I get I get what you're trying to do. I like it. It's very it's very funny because like. I get it, but uh, armor is just very disappointing. Like, very disappointing. So, I don't like it. Would I use it? Probably not. If the moss doesn't change color, I'm probably not going to use this in any character. I could probably use the arms for the hunter. Maybe. I'll probably use the cloak because if, the, if it does change color, I don't care. But other than that, not really a big fan of this one. So, for me... And I know for a lot of people in the community, the phenotype plasticity armor set should have been the raid armor. I like this dude. When I say this shit is the coolest armor set I've seen in a while, I mean it. Like, you're look at the Titan. Let me let's just point out the Titan real quick. He has wings in the back, he has a literal blade on his right arm. Like, the dude I said in my old video because I did I did record before this this twap came out 
and I said something that kind of surprised me, which said, I, I said, it literally looks like a Vex hive mind sucked your guardian, digitized him, and then made him into that. Like, it looks so cool. It looks like your character became a Vex. Like, that's how dope this looks. We, we ended up getting the Vex leg for the hunters, which is cool. I thought that was really cool. I think it's a little bit more bulkier than the the one from Atheon, but overall, I'm absolutely livid that, oh yeah, yeah, this is the premium season, the premium battle rank, and I'm just like, bro, really? Like, that's just, mm, that rubs me the wrong way. I know that premium members should get better shit, and like, it's not like I'm bitching because I'm not going to get this. I'm, I'm going to become a premium member whether I like it or not because I'm buying everything. So it's not like, oh, I'm just bitching just because just a bitch. It's like, it's not cool, bro. Like, wh why, why wasn't this the raid armor? Why wasn't this the raid armor? Like, this should have been the raid armor. This should have been the raid armor. But no, like, we ended up getting, we ended up getting this reskin that, like, I really do not give two shits about like <clears throat> I usually run raids to get my, my all my armor set this I'm not enthusiastic about going I'm gonna go for it for sure but I'm not gonna wear it I'm not even gonna be excited about it I'm just gonna be like cool I got it erase that's it I like I'm, I don't even feel like wearing this for the armor 2.0 because I'm I already have universal ornaments, so I'm just gonna wear something else instead because this is just garbage. I don't even wanna wear it. I can put it on something else, but I don't even wanna wear it. Like, that's how annoyed I am with it. So, I think the phenotype plasticity is a straight up slap to the face. It's fucked up. I really don't like it. Uh, I'm fine with Eververse armor looking dope or a little bit doper than our usual armor, but when it's that drastic where it's like one looks really shitty, the other one looks really fucking cool. That's where my issue comes in because the hunters, their cloak, they actually have a cloak without a hood. That pisses me off. That really does because I wanted that for a while and now the only way I can get it is through the premium membership, which again, I am going to get. I'm not going to, I'm not fucking like angry about the fact that, oh, I have to get this because it's in the game. They're giving it to you for free, but it just, it feels dirty. It feels dirty. So... I love this armor, I'm definitely gonna wear it, but I'm just thoroughly disappointed. Dude, we got fucking Radio Larion on our chest, bro. Like, we got the Vex Milk in our chest. That's, bro, what the fuck? So, the next armor, and admittedly, I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew, like, I was not expecting anything from Iron Banner. I really wasn't. Iron Banner armor has not been good in a while. And I mean, like, collectively good. Like, there's good pieces of armor set, of each armor. But, like, as a whole, there has not been anything good. Like, I remember Iron Banner from D1, all the armor was fire. Everything. All the set was fire. This looks boring, basic. I've actually have, I already have some of these armor sets. Like, the helmet look for the Titans looks similar to another one we have. The the mark that they have is literally just fucking, well, what's it called? The Crucible a mark from uh, Forsaken. Literally, is just the same thing. The arms look somewhat similar to another armor set. Actually, I'll probably put the pictures up in, uh, in the video. But... Hunters is even worse because the arms have a similar style to another arms that from some uh, Iron Banner, I forget which one. The helmet looks straight, like super familiar to a helmet I actually use. And the cloak looks super similar to another one. So I think the biggest one that's kind of a little bit more different would be the Warlock's cloak or the Warlock's um, chest piece. I think theirs looks the most different, but overall... This Iron Banner armor is so disappointing and so pathetic that I'm just kind of like scratching my head like like do you guys not have do you guys not have anyone that knows how to do good armor anymore cuz like I remember in Destiny 1 y'all had like fire fucking armor like Iron Banner armor sets were dope as shit and then when we went to Rise of Iron Jesus Christ the armor was dope as fuck we literally had fire in our, our armor so I don't understand why the Iron Banner armor has been so shitty for the past 
oh my god, for a while, like, I'm not even kidding, like, for a while, the armor's been just fucking garbage, so, Iron Banner armor is literal garbage, so I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, did not want anything cool anyways. And then, for the last one, it's gonna be the Eververse armor set, the one from, well, I, I, I don't even know, I think this is from maybe the DLC, so... This actually looks really fucking cool. Again, this is dope. We're seeing shit that other armors don't do anymore and that they, that we just have never done. The hunters get a fucking quiver in their back. Titans get fur, finally. And it's just, it looks so cool. Honestly, the, the Titans win this one. The Titans have the coolest armor in this. They have an awesome mark. I love their mark. Their mark is the best. This is the best mark I've ever seen. I'm not even kidding. Like, this armor is cool. Their hel helmet is cool. Their arms are dope. Everything is dope. The hunters are are good too. It it looks just so like I look like I'm like gonna go with a bow and arrow and kill everything. And that's that's the fantasy. That's the fantasy that this does. Like. It kills me, bro. This looks so cool. The Warlocks usually have bad armor. This looks fire. My girlfriend even likes this armor, and she doesn't like a lot of armor. So this is fire. It just sucks that it's Eververse armor, bro. Like, look at the Iron Banner armor. Look at the the free ranks for the, for the battle pass. Look at the raid armor. The only one that's more intricate is Dreambane armor. And even then, it's not even to my liking. I just think it's some some of the things are cool. This this uh, Eververse armor looks so good. You could literally tell that all the people who made good armor from D1 were moved to Eververse and be like, all right, just make good good armor here. What about the other guys? What about the raid? Nah, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll come up with something. That's how it feels. And like, I'm sorry, like, if some of the people in the community are like, nah, Tony, you're being too negative. I'm sorry, bro. That's just how it feels. Because look at this armor and look at, like, any of the ar other armor. Literally, look at look at the Iron Banner armor and look at this. It's day and night. Uh, the, the Iron Banner armor looks boring. It really looks boring. So, those are my thoughts. Damn, this is a long video. Sorry, but this is my thoughts on it. I think the armor is really cool, but most of the cool armors... Are from Eververse so I think that's fucking dumb I think a lot of the armor that we're getting is very basic bitch material and a lot of the cool shit is just kind of like hey you got you have some money you have some money you want some money so yeah I don't care what people say oh Tony it's going free to play it's going free to enter first of all so you know let me nip that in the bud real quick so I think it's dumb Another cool, like another cool thing about that, what's happening is armor from Crucible and Vanguard from Year One is coming back as ornaments, though. So I don't know how I feel about that. So maybe, maybe I feel good about that. I'm not sure. Hopefully, I feel good about that. I'll see. I'll have to see. Hopefully, we get to get more ornaments from like Crucible Year Two, or I'm sorry, Crucible from uh, Crucible Cyrus and. Warmind because that would be cool because I wasn't there for that. I was there for that on PS4, but I wasn't there for that on PC. So that would be cool. Hopefully they do that. We can get Black Armory for literally everything we can get now. We can get his armor 2.0. So literally, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think about my my thoughts on the armor? You guys think I'm a little biased? You guys think uh, the raid armor is actually dope? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.